Jughead, what is it with grown-ups? They have all the freedom in the world, and yet they spend all their time telling us what to do. Or what not to do. Exactly. I ask you, what is wrong with having a little fun now and again? Or taking a chance every once in a while. Yeah, let's face it. Adults are killjoys. Just because they don't remember how to live, they want to hold us back. Walk, don't run. Shouldn't you put that money in the bank? Be home by 10 p.m. <laughs> Wouldn't a low-calorie diet be more sensible, Jughead? Are you okay? <laughs> He's fine. Huh? What's, What's going happening? On? <laughs> Maybe he isn't fine. Hmm. Huh. Hmm? Hmm. What is it? Give it to me straight. I can take it. Well, he appears to be a puppy. Oh, no! Does this mean I have to housebreak him again? <laughs> Any idea of what might have caused this? I'll head out to the lake during lunch break and take some samples. I'm sure I can find the cause. Let's go, Jughead. We'll be late for class. Later, Dilton. Don't worry, Jughead. Dilton will figure out a way to change Hot Dog back to normal. Come on. Okay, you potty train him. See ya. <laughs> Time to face another day, eh, Miss Grundy? Uh, indeed, Mr. Weatherby. It is another day. Another day of careless teenage shenanigans and short attention spans. Kids, they think they can act any way they please. Tomorrow will never come, and they'll live forever. Not a thought to consequences. Sometimes I think it's a wonder any of them make it to 21 years of age. Go. Go. We'll just have to keep them safe and sound in spite of their worst impulses. Oh. Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly feel better. Oh. Why, yes, I do too. I'm ready to face those little ruffians. Today, class, we are going to discuss Ponce de Leon and his search for... And then no, really. You have to come down to Dilton's lab and see for yourself. Don't listen to this wacko, Betty. Stick with me and we'll stop by Pops after class. Archie, Reggie, return to your seats. Huh? <gasps> now, to return to Ponce de Leon. No, 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 that's it! Huh? 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 You're here for an education, not for gawking and making goo goo eyes at members of the opposite sex. Give us a break, Miss Grundy. You're only young once. Not a chance, young man. Now, you and Reggie take those two back seats and stop pestering poor Betty. <gasps> Actually, I kind of enjoy the attention, Miss Grundy. Teenagers, how many more weeks until spring break? You wanted to see me? Yes, Miss Lodge. Once again, you were caught driving recklessly in the student parking lot. I don't see what the big deal is. No one got hurt. <clears throat> well, maybe I was going a little bit too fast. Driving your car through the principal's office wall is more than a little bit too fast. <sighs> 
Somehow, I didn't expect you to fully appreciate the serious consequences of your actions. Which is why your father will be joining us in a moment for a parent conference. Daddy? He's coming here? Huh? We're amalgamated. The lake water contains an age reversal catalyst. It's providential that this phenomenon is isolated to the lake. If it's spread to Riverdale, there's no predicting what kind of chaos would ensue. Psst, Reggie, who's that? Huh. Hi there, boys. Hubba Hubba! I don't know who she is, huh? but she's a cutie! Well, hello there. What's your name, gorgeous? <laughs> Doris. Doris Grundy. Grundy? Funny. Our teacher has the same last name. Oh, no! First hot dog and now... Miss Grundy? So, what brings a fox like you into this classroom? Hmm, you're kind of cute. <gasps> Whoa! What are you doing? She thinks I'm kind of cute. Reggie, that's Miss Grundy. I think I can recognize Miss Grundy by now. And that doll face is most definitely huh? not Miss Grundy. Look at her clothes. That's Miss Grundy transformed into a teenager. The same thing happened to Hot Dog. He's a puppy now. You're kidding me. Aw, oh, no. Don't tell me. This is another one of your weird mysteries. Afraid so. Great. I finally find a girl who likes me, and it's the teacher who made me retake geography during summer school. So, guys, what do you say we ditch class while the teacher's gone and do something fun? Miss Grundy? Doris! Call me Doris! Carrot Top. Don't you remember anything about being a teacher? You're the last person who'd suggest skipping classes. Don't be a wheeze. How else are we gonna get time with the boys? Huh? This is really weirding me out, Archie. We need to keep Doris out of trouble until we find a way to reverse this. Maybe we should lock her in the janitor's closet. So what do they call the cute one with the black hair? You mean, Reggie? Oh, Reggie, I like. Miss Grun, I mean Doris, don't you think you'd be better off with someone more your age? No, I like older men. But no way am I gonna snag his attention in these drabarocious clothes. I mean, I look like my grandmother dressed me. That's it! Reggie, why don't you help Betty take Doris to her house to change into more, uh, with it clothes? Now you're talking, Carrot Top. What? That way, Betty can keep her out of trouble while Jughead and I get help from Dilton. Why me? She seems to like you. You know no woman can resist your irresistible charm. Well, you've got me there. Miss Lodge, I am shocked at your behavior. We simply cannot condone such reckless driving at Riverdale High. I couldn't agree with you more. But, Daddy! Don't but Daddy me. It's high time someone did something about all these teenagers zooming around town in their hot rods. Riverdale is not a racetrack. Precisely. Speed, speed, speed. That's all these students think about. Mr. Weatherby? You... You... You've got hair! Yes, I do. You like it? <gasps> so, just how fast was she going? Daddy? Your hair! Fast? Now that I think about it, it uh, wasn't that fast. How would you know? Oh, I know fast. Yeah, right. <laughs> I could blow the doors off your car any day. You wish, punk. You talk big, but can you prove it? Any time, any place, loser. Dead man's curve, tonight. 
you're on. Archie, I figured out what happened to Hot Dog. Yeah, but it seems that an agent in Riverdale Lake's water has reversed Hot Dog's aging process on a cellular level. I knew I should feed him that celery. But the same thing just happened to Miss Grundy. Impossible. How could she have been exposed to the Riverdale Lake's water? Out of the way! You heard him, geeks! What unpleasant and oddly dressed fellows. I'm getting out of here. I'll see you tonight at Dead Man's Curve. Yeah, then we'll see which of us is the fastest drag racer in Riverdale. Drag racing? At Dead Man's Curve. Those two have to be madmen. And litterbugs, too. Somebody has to stop my father and Mr. Weatherby. You're not going to believe what happened. They both turned into teenagers? And they're going to risk their lives drag racing at Dead Man's Curve? Yes, but how did you know? There seems to be an epidemic of youthfulness at Riverdale High. So that's what Mr. Lodge and Mr. Weatherby were like when they were young. Surly teenagers. What I can't understand is how so many adults are being affected without exposure to Riverdale Lake's water. I think I know how. How's that, Doris? Cool, Bets. What do you think, Reggie? Well, I, uh... Do you have a regular study, Reggie? Um, I'm trying to concentrate on my, uh, studies. <laughs> I don't really have time for dating and all that stuff. What? A hot-looking studster like you? I don't believe it. Maybe huh? you and I should go out sometime. Well, I don't deny that I may be hot-looking, but I, I don't think you and I should... I mean, help me out here, Betty. Looks like you're doing all right by yourself, studster. Apparently, the age reversal only works on adults because children and teenagers have a growth metabolism that renders them immune. But is there any way to reverse this? Bring the adults back to normal? Maybe. If I could saturate their cells with a light intensely focused into the proper band of the light spectrum, it could work. It better work before this spreads to all of Riverdale. Uh, Archie, I think it's a little too late to worry about that. <gasps> oh, no! It can't be! Oh, no! They've all turned into... teenagers! Well, gang, if there's no adults to solve this problem for us, then we're going to have to solve it ourselves. But what can we do? There's too many of them. I concur. This seems to be an unsolvable conundrum. There's got to be something we can do. And we better do it quick. Dilton, is there any way we can produce that light you say will reverse the effects of the water? Hmm. Hmm. Here, boy. Fetch. Eureka! Show us! Aha! A light bulb? I think Thomas Edison got to this bright idea first, Dilton. Ah, let me continue. First, it must be saturated into this solution. Once turned on, this bulb will emit the unique light from the narrow band of the spectrum that I spoke of earlier, thus reversing the fountain of youth process. Uh, shouldn't we test it out first? <laughs> Please, test it out. Before my arm falls off, I've been doing this for hours. Oh, 
run, 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 run. It was. <laughs> oh no! It hurt him. No, this is normal. I have my good old lazy dog back. Wait a minute, guys. How are we going to use it on all of the new teenagers? There is an abundance of new teenagers, and they have spread out all over town. It will take weeks to shine this on all of them. Maybe there's a way to get them all in the same place. Dilton, I need you to treat as many light bulbs with this solution as you can, and then meet me at the gym at 7 o'clock tonight. That's right. Tonight and tonight only. A dance at the high school gym. And at the dance, there will be an unlimited supply of free pizza and soda. All right. Huh? <laughs> Wow, we must have every adult teenager here. Come on, Reggie, just one little dance, please. Gee, I don't know. It's also weird. Besides, the band hasn't started playing yet. We don't need a band. We'll make our own music. There, that ought to do it. Ready? Ready, do it. To admit, this is kind of fun. Who knows? Maybe we could work out as a couple. Mr. Mantle, what are you doing? Doris, I, I mean, Miss Grundy. <gasps> That's it, guys. We've turned our out of control adult teenagers back into fuddy duddy adults. I couldn't convince my father and Mr. Weatherby to come to the dance. They're still going to race on Dead Man's Curve. Teenagers. Dilton, do you have any more of that solution left? There. That ought to do it. Come on, Veronica. We've got to hurry up and get to Dead Man's Curve before Mr. Weatherby and your dad do. You know, punk, only one of us will survive Dead Man's Curve. Yeah, too bad it won't be you, rich boy. Hurry, Archie! Hurry! I'm going as fast as I can. was too close. Mr. Weatherby, are you all right? I, I, I could have hurt someone. What was I thinking? Daddy, I'm so glad you're okay. What am I doing out here? And why was I racing like that? So this is what created our little fountain of youth difficulties. I'll send this to the Smithsonian for safekeeping. Would you like some water? I'm sticking with tea today. It seems more appropriate somehow. Good idea. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. Teens today are so hard to handle. We couldn't agree more. Well, all's well that ends well. Except for poor Veronica, who's stuck driving her father around until he gets his driving privileges back. Funny, when the judge threw the book at Mr. Lodge and Mr. Weatherby for reckless driving, he said that they should learn to act their age. But as we all now know, acting your age isn't always the easiest thing to do. In a little town called Riverdale, Thank <laughs> you.